Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's on my Nice boys, go. Beauty fish. She's a runner, she's a track star. How do you like paddle on? This is it. We've got six guys, three canoes, and about 120 kilometers of Tomogamy Wilderness. Oh. Uh, everyone's okay with mushrooms? Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Oh, those are some nasty looking so mushrooms what though. Is your <laughs> so we all just finished up dinner here, and uh, Duncan and I are out in the canoe seeing if we can Catch a little evening bite with these fish here. Yeah, we caught ourselves our first uh, <laughs> big old bass. <laughs> She's a beauty. I, that's a is, that's a yellow perch. It's a yellow yeah. perch. Yeah. First ever fish I caught while well, really really into lure. First <laughs> ever fish I've caught angling. <laughs> it's right here. You gotta start somewhere. Nice catch and release. It's a little baby. Myself a nice big lunker there. <laughs> so we're just wrapping up day one here. I don't even know if you can officially call this day one. We got to Tomogamy, launched our canoes, and paddled across the tiniest little lake here. To our campsite where we're uh, crashing the night and then the uh, real action starts tomorrow uh, we're gonna try and cover 22 kilometers tomorrow i believe we're getting a nice early start so i'll uh, see you in the morning I couldn't believe how many horse flies were like in my tent last night. In? Yeah. Jeez. I can, make, I can make two rounds. Why not? Got the barista over here making lattes for everyone. <laughs> we tried. We tried to go to a different river. What happened? Go put those fires out, Cam. Then come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished up breakfast and we've all hit the water and uh. Our end goal today is the beautiful Florence Lake. Is he a mountaineer? Yeah, he does a lot of mountain hiking. Oh, okay. I don't know about mountaineering, but he like hikes mountain stuff. We're not gonna get lost. Oh, that's a nice one. No way. No way. Little Ray Ban rescue? An RBR? <laughs> Nicely done. Cheers.
I'd like to say that was the first time I've done that. <laughs> absolute chills right now. It was the first moose I've ever seen camping and uh, this is technically day one. Unreal. We just finished up a thousand meter portage, maybe 950. Um, a little tired but first portage is a trip so that's expected. We have a quick 400 meter portage onto the south branch Lady Evelyn then upstream we go. Also forgot to mention that that was my first portage in the new canoe. Mm. Yeah, I didn't film any of it. Go figure, but <laughs> special moment. Oh, it's just straight up, eh? So we just completed the second portage and uh, we've all agreed that that one was very much more tomogamy-esque, uh, aka super difficult. Uh, it's hot, up and down hills, over logs, that's what it's all about, that's what we're here for. Ben was saying that you wanted something that we know and we hurt ourselves on this because it's a wine corner and it's a sweeper. Yeah. So I'm going to see if, I, if we can get it down. Oh yeah, I can come get it down. Okay. I'll okay, so we're going to do a little tree removal here. Uh, this tree right here uh, is at the end of the White Rock Rapids and uh, this is called a strainer. This is a real dangerous feature because if you get pushed into the tree, it can uh, essentially take your head off. And uh, shout out to camper Christina who almost had a real incident with this tree. So for you, Christina, we're going to take it down. You filming this? Yeah. I was thinking I'm going to try and get it down the main channel. Cam's just getting the tree completely out of the way so it's no longer an issue at all. Come give you a hand. So we've just stopped off at this campsite here, uh, just grabbing some lunch. Made some pretty good progress already today. We just had our second moose encounter. Uh, so the one that we saw this morning was the, a female moose called a cow, and we just saw a male moose. It was a bull, and uh, it's still early in the year, but it, it had small antlers. I don't know if uh, the camera was able to pick it up. Just so surreal. That is so cool.
So that's four moose on the day. It's so cool to see two at once like that. I believe that was a cow and a calf. As if today wasn't good enough, uh, we've got a nice patch of blueberries right here on our site. Fresh picked wild blueberries. How is it? They're so good. So after a nice swim, the sky has gotten real dark here and uh, the winds have picked up out of nowhere. So we're wondering if we're going to get a, a little bit of a storm, uh, but that's okay because everyone's pretty beat down right now and uh, I think we're just going to have a big team nap. That's okay. So it never ended up raining and it's super beautiful out here now and even better uh, the whole team got a real good nap in i uh, couldn't believe how quiet it was for a good two hours there what's on the menu tonight cam Today I got chana masala. Chana masala with dehydrated chickpeas, potatoes, cauliflower, um, and tomatoes. It's uh, looking like our pot has bit off more than it can chew. <laughs> because it's right at the top, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll split it up. It's not overflowing quite yet. Awfully close. So I can uh, yeah, really got in the way there. put out the uh, band. The chefs did not disappoint. I'm gonna have to take a break. Mm. Portage was really awful where we came up into a dead lake and then had lunch. So yesterday we woke up on Gamble and we made our way south down the Lady Evelyn River. Oh, did a 600, no, that's a 1K portage yeah, and then a 4K small, portage. Small. Got back on the Lady Evelyn, but a different part of the river and ended up going up river slightly to get into Duff Lake, and then a little bit of dipsy doodling where we saw three moose in this little stretch before getting into Florence where we made camp right here on this point last night on what is probably one of the best campsites we've ever stayed on.
cool. So right behind me here, that's Florence Mountain. Uh, we're just going to paddle over there and hike up to the top to get a good view. And that's a pretty cool area because historically it's a spiritual site. It was used by the First Nations for vision quests. Uh, so interested to see what the energy is like up there. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Mountain, she lives up to the hype. We made it, boys. Huge. Did it got crushed? And it almost looks like it's got like nerve damage on the back end there. It really does, yeah. yeah. So we just made it to the first portage of the day. This could be quite a challenging section. Uh, it's sweaty, it's hot, it's buggy, it's muddy. Uh, but, you know, we're just having a blast out here. Pretty cool looking moose track here. It's a sign of a good campsite. I didn't do much filming on some of those crazy portages. Uh, first of all, because it was scorching hot and uh, they were quite challenging. Uh, but the main reason was because I actually took a little spill and cracked a piece of my uh, camera lens. So it is what it is. Uh, the lens itself, the glass did not break. I decided to uh, play it safe and I packed the camera away in, our, in my bag and um, just played out the rest of the day but anyways we've got a beautiful campsite here and uh yeah i think i'm gonna lay down for a little nap here good day jobs that pay well enough that we can afford to spend ten thousand dollars on casually Just that's a lot money. of money all at once you know this is my first time truly in the heart of tomogamy and uh, I don't want to sound over dramatic but I really do feel like it's a special place Oh, good boy. Cheers, Cheers to a uh, solid couple today. days. Yeah. We're in the thick of it now with some subs.
So everyone got a pretty decent sleep last night. Uh, we got a nice early start this morning. Gonna whip up some breakfast quick and then hit the water, hopefully before the worst of the heat is here today. So last night we had um, red lentil curry, which let's just say it was a delicious meal. Uh, but those lentils do a little bit of a number on your gastrointestinal tract, and at least I'm paying the price for that this morning. Can't speak for anyone else, but we've got seven portages to get through today, which means we're going to be gassing ourselves through the woods until we get to the end. We're just wrapping up portage number two, making incredible time today. Uh, spirits are a lot higher than what they were in the heat wave yesterday. And uh, it's showing in the en energy levels. The, the portaging has been extremely challenging, but not as bad as I was expecting Tamagami to be. Now, don't get me wrong, that could be famous last words. So we're stopped off here on this rock face uh, just for a little snack break and uh, this is a very cool moment because for the first time ever, way, way, way in the distance, I've got my eyes on Ishpatina Ridge. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to check out since I was a little kid and for the first time ever I can see it. It's super far away, we're still two days away from, from being in that area. but. Super special. I'm uh, kind of in awe right now. So we're just pulling up to our third portage of the day. Third, right? No, fourth. Fourth portage of the day. So on our first pass through here, we had to step over quite a few logs, uh, making for quite a difficult trek. But thanks to this guy over here, Matt Whittle, clearing the trail. Look at that. It's basically a freeway at this point. That smell too. Yeah, fresh cedar, spruce. Oh, you're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> nice lift. Thank you. We're going to finish the afternoon off at Solace Lake where we're going to be uh, camping for the night. So we've made it to the beautiful Solus Lake uh, and we've got ourselves a great site here. We all agreed that uh, this lake truly lives up to the hype. Uh, we've all studied a lot and uh, read a lot about this area and never really understood what made it so special. But I think that's why you have to be here to understand. It's still nice and early in the day, so I think we're just gonna relax for a bit and uh, probably do some fishing later because this lake is looking pretty promising. I don't know if it's red in the sun. Or Duncan, this is an light. underwear only kind of party. <laughs> hey, I'm wearing a swimsuit. I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is dinner. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a pike. It's a trout. It's a trout. It's, it's a, a trout. trout. It's a trout. Get it, get it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's on land, it's on land, it's on land. Ah, yeah! I got a trout, I got a trout. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> That's a cam. Let's go. First leg trout. Let's go. <laughs> nice looking fish. 
Run, get her on shore, get her on shore. Nice, boys. Go That's a... Oh. Go that one, too. Beauty fish. This guy is on a roll. Number three. Let's go. Nice. You got it. Yeah. Okay. So the boys came in clutch. Cam caught the first lake trout, and then Senegin caught two more. And we've got quite the meal here. I'm just uh, cleaning up the last little bit here. This is going to be delicious. Uh, this will be the first non-dehydrated food that we've eaten in three or four days now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, bread up these trout and then we're just going to fry them in oil, I think. This is just some good old fish crisp. <laughs> Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Nice glob of oil. Amazing fresh. <laughs> So we got a bit of a short paddle before we hit our first portage this morning off of Solus. It's about 200 meters. From there, we cross Einar Lake, do another 400 meter portage into Biscuit Lake. From there, 150 meters into Broadbent. Across from Broadbent, we do 325 meters into Carrying Bar Lake. Another 285 meters into Icicle Lake or Tooth Lake. From there, 145 meters, notably in poor conditions, into Melanson Lake. And then from Melanson, we have our last port hop before lunch, 805 meters into Regan Lake. We take a break, go for a swim, and then from Regan, we have a choice of either 690 or 1050. We'll probably take the shorter one. Get ourselves into Little Scarecrow Lake. From there, we paddle a little bit, do 95 meters. Hopefully, pretty quite short. Almost a leftover. And then 195. And that gets us on to Major Scarecrow Lake. And that wraps us for the day. That's the plan. So, it's been a little while since the last time I checked in with the camera. Uh, but we have since done five portages. Uh, so, that's 10 on the day. And we got smoked by a pretty decent lightning storm that delayed us a little bit. Uh, but luckily we made it to the campsite, things are looking good, and even better, I know you're, there's no way you're going to see it on the GoPro, but Ishpatina Ridge is right there. That is super cool. Ha, 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 ha. 
So I'm kind of kicking myself for not filming any of the thunderstorms this afternoon, but I didn't want to get any of my camera gear out and just get it soaked because we were getting pelted by the rain. Uh, luckily, we got to camp in time. Uh, we were only in the rain for about 10 minutes. You should never, ever, ever be on the water during a thunderstorm. Um, but then once we got to camp and set up the tarps, set up the tents, got settled in, uh, the weather turned and now it's sunny. So it's actually quite a beautiful evening and I'm just sitting here taking in Ishpatina Ridge. It is really cool to be just sitting here looking at the highest point in Ontario. And now the sun is back out. She is <laughs> oh no! Stop doing this. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself, bro. Duncan's got his first proper fish here. <laughs> oh, it's God. <laughs> Why do people like this? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in a bush? Yeah. <laughs> I think he liked it. <laughs> ah, I caught it at least. <laughs> We can do like pancakes for lawn, like peanut butter and jam. Yeah, it's probably like 10 now. What? What time is it now? It's 9 o'clock. Oh. 9 o'clock on the yeah. So it's been raining all night and all morning, but that's totally okay. Uh, our only full rain day has perfectly aligned with our only full rest day. So things could be worse. We're just hanging out under these tarps, yeah, chatting away, drinking cool. coffee. So it's actually quite enjoyable. So I just caught my first decent fish here in Tomogamy. Nice little smallmouth bass. I'm just gonna get it cleaned up and uh, then we've got lunch. Oh, yeah. Hopefully an eagle comes. Fish? I'm surprised how much fish we got off that one bass. Yeah. She was a heifer. I also like the way you prepared it. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. I also like how I say we. Yeah, we got a bunch of meat <laughs> off that fish. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. No, uh, we, on, we, I wouldn't be here without you guys. <laughs> no, what's up, man? Lime. So everyone's got a belly full of fish tacos, and the skies are clearing up a little bit. So we've decided now is the time. It's now or never. Uh, we're gonna make the trek to Ishpatina. So we've got a three and a half kilometer paddle and then a three and a half kilometer hike up to the peak. And then of course, 7K back. Um, but we're not gonna be moving sites tonight. So we're just gonna make the trip up, summit the highest point in Ontario and uh, come back and enjoy our evening. En route to Ishpatina.
I smoke and smog me. So back when I was a little kid, we would pass through the town of Tomogamy and my dad would always tell me all about this highest point in Ontario that is super hard to get to. Uh, you have to canoe trip in and I always wanted to do it when I was a little kid. And I'm just so grateful that now, a little bit older, able-bodied, and here we are. We made it. it. It was, he was right, it was a very difficult canoe trip in. Um, and even though it's not great visibility today, it's just so special to be here. Very, very special moment. incredible the hike back down is always easier than the hike up back at camp now of course the sun is out but we are not complaining got dinner on everything's drying out after a rainy day yesterday and this morning Good morning. We got a totally different day today. This is the first morning where we've woken up and it's uh, actually kind of chilly out here. Just like every morning, we're gonna get oatmeal and coffee. My favorite. <laughs> Portage number one of the day, 1100 meters. This is the first of eight, I believe. We'll see how it goes. Beautiful sandy lake here. Not too hot today, but it'd be nice for a swim. These guys are testing out a new paddling technique. <laughs> I've heard the rowers like it. <laughs> Are 
Are you based in check line? So here we are on Smooth Water Lake. All our portaging is done for the day. It's lunchtime and the sun is out. What more can you ask for? Not much, man. Not much. Yeah. So Smooth Water Lake lives up to the name. It is glass right now. This is the biggest lake we've come across in the entire trip. And uh, I would say the calmest. It's not even a little bit of wind. First thing I'll do when we get to the campsite is get a good wash up in because uh, pretty filthy. <laughs> Just missed that osprey catching a fish. That is so cool. So here we are, find ourselves at this little campsite right here close to the portage headed east out of Smooth Water Lake. Tricky thing is, if you cut this way, it's about nine kilometers straight, but half of that's portaging, which sounds like a bad time. Our cars, though, are parked at Gamble Lake, so like it or not, we have to get there. The nice thing is, there's a road that runs north all the way up here off the map, but then branches back over here, where it intersects with the Montreal River. Conveniently, if you follow this route, there's not a single portage between our current campsite and that access point. So the idea with tomorrow, we send two guys lightly packed across the portages to get the cars, They'll drive up and they'll meet up with the rest of the team at that access point to make our way out of the park in good time tomorrow. It's a bit of a change of plans from what we originally expected, but one of the tricky things about being out here is you have to be willing to adapt when the opportunity presents itself. That's kind of what we saw this afternoon and how we're going to adjust accordingly. I believe we have 15 kilometers uh, going downstream today, so we're just going to be floating with the current and no portages at all, which is crazy because up until yesterday we were expecting to do over five kilometers of portaging through some nasty, nasty, uh, swampy, up and down hills, just craziness. Um, so today is going to be much, much easier and we couldn't be happier about it. And since we have an extra day, I think we're all going to go for dinner tonight. So. That's a great thing to look forward to. It's gonna be so delicious. So we're just pulling up to the takeout. 
I guess that's it, eh? That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Yeah, I don't really have any words for this. That was an incredible trip. <laughs> the trails were fun. Yeah. my wet clothes and my wet underwear to dry every night and every morning I shake off the moths. All that junk inside is drunk. I'm not gonna get you drunk. <laughs> oh, oh I just broke the line. I broke the line, sorry. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> So earlier today, I actually ended up breaking my sunglasses. This nice new pair of sunglasses just sitting here on the site. <laughs> Should we got my camera too? It looks like he's gonna catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> you got two cameras on you. It's the outdoor learning network. <laughs> this is what it means to make it pro. <laughs> Highest moose poop in Ontario. The highest mosquito bites in all of Ontario. 